I do not remember where we picked up a copy of Felix the Cat for NES. It might have been at our local retro game store. It might have been when our local video rental store was phasing out all of their NES games. The mystery will always remain a mystery to me. But I am so glad we did have this game growing up, because it is one of those games you find yourself coming back to again and again. Being later in the NES lifespan, Felix the Cat has a lot of great going for it. Vast levels with a wide variety in theming from dinosaur jungles to the icy tundra to outer space. The graphics in each area are unique and well constructed, adding to the fun fantasy vibe here. And perfect for us, there are not one, but two icy snowy worlds to explore and see if one of these levels might just be the most Christmassy of all retro video game levels. World 6 in Felix the Cat starts out in the frigid waters of one of the polar ice caps. So let's pretend it's the North Pole, because why not? It's Christmas. In this level you can collect purple Felix faces, and once you collect enough, a heart will appear. Grab the heart and Felix can upgrade his magic from an inner tube to a dolphin who shoots frisbees? I think they're frisbees. Anyway, Felix hops his way through the level searching for hidden magic bag areas that will take him to more purple Felix faces. The weapon upgrades slowly lose energy and need to be replenished, either by collecting milk bottles that give you a little more energy, or another heart that will refill your energy completely and give you an extra life. World 6's second level sees Felix traveling underwater where he has new upgrades to his magic. A cat head submarine that fires missiles, a turtle that can spit out bubbles, or a scuba suit with a punching glove. The swimming mechanic here is not as fluid as other NES games that take the main character underwater. You have to constantly press the A button to keep Felix afloat, and it's very easy to swim up and accidentally into an enemy that comes out of nowhere onto the screen. The icy theme continues here with the designers utilizing the colors of the NES to create intricate and always moving backgrounds, from seaweed to bubbles to light shining into the water. At the end of this level is the boss, a floating trash can robot that fires bubbles at Felix? I gotta admit, I'm not extremely deep into Felix the Cat lore, so I'm not sure who any of these enemies are that Felix is fighting, but I assume that they come from the cartoons and comics. After finishing this world, it's on to the 7th, which takes Felix out of the water and onto the snowy land, where he can upgrade to a magic shield of stars, a car that honks, or a tank that fires cannonballs at enemies. This first level of World 7 is definitely hitting all the right Christmas notes. There's plenty of snow, igloos in the background, snowballs rolling across the ground, and it's even snowing throughout the level. After this, Felix heads into a snow cave, which is snowy, but mostly a cave that's pretty typical and reminiscent of a Super Mario Bros. 3 cave level. Floating platforms, swooping bats, and springs send Felix all over this level, making his way to the goal at the end. These levels don't offer too much in the way of exploration. It's a pretty straight run to the finish with a few hidden extra lives here and there. The boss of this world is, I think, a kid riding on an ostrich? I'm not really sure at all what's going on because it's all a little confusing if you ask me. Snowballs are flying around the screen and Felix is hopping to burst them while trying to get close enough to score a hit on the boss. The one negative I will be quick to point out here is the music. Oh my word, the music in this game can get on your nerves quick. It's repetitive, a little too tinny, and often I found myself turning down the volume while I played this level because after too long, these songs are just grating. For a game that looks this good, it's a real shame that the music had to be so awful. Some might disagree with me, but a Capcom soundtrack, this is not. Overall, I have to say that these levels definitely bring in the Christmassy mood. I'd say they're about 45% of a gingerbread house left standing after the icing decides it's not going to stick together. So if you're looking for some fun Christmassy levels, these will definitely get you into the Christmas spirit.